This is Alin from Javelin. In this short video, we'll take a look at a quick way to turn on and off the primary planes. So, for example, in order to mate these two components, I would probably apply first a concentric mate, but then I would like to center them. Of course, I can use a width mate, but we all know width mates are uh, computational intensive to solve. Fortunately, in the latest uh, version of SolidWorks, if you turn on the visibility of all planes, you have now access to showing primary planes. So if nothing is pre-selected and I go to show primary planes, it will show the primary planes of the main assembly. So you can see how this one's now turn on. Uh, and the reverse is true. If I click on this again, I turn those off. If a component is selected, one or more, the primary planes of that component would become available. I strongly suggest you add a keyboard shortcut for the primary plane. So if you go to keyboard and look for primary, notice I apply P as the shortcut. So let's see how this works. With nothing selected, I press P. I turn on and off the primary planes of the assembly. With component selected, I press P. I simply turn on the primary planes of those components. So I simply select the two planes from the two components and I can apply the coincident relation. I want to get rid of them. I have two options. I can select the component, press P, or sometimes it's easier to simply select a plane that belongs to that component and press P and that would hide the plane. So that pretty much unlocks the opportunity to go back to using planes for applying coincident relations instead of the width or symmetric mate.